that's one big pile of yes so I've set the laser up lined it up with DPC no I fell over I hurt myself I'm really struggling now I shouldn't even be in work Good morning. It is Monday the 4th of September, 20 past nine. And um, that's one big pile of, yes, nothing to do with us. This is our first day here. That, a lot of that is down to Jason. House is currently unoccupied, but um, this is one of the jobs which you need doing. Basically this, this has been demolished and we're going to rebuild this wall as a cavity wall. It's, um, it's not under regs, it's just putting a, an existing like lead to back, <coughs> improving the roof and just giving it a bit more strength. So Jason's been here a couple of weeks ago, done the dig. There's a drain in the middle there, but he's been, he's been backfilled. We're just waiting on his delivery from Fairwoods, which is due mid morning. So when that stuff arrives, we've got two cores of trench to go in here. Well, Alex has got two courses of trench to go in there because no way I'm getting down there. And I've got all the toothing to do, which is going to be hard because that is rock hard sand and cement. So there's no reciprocating soil getting used here today. It's going to be a um, big grinder. Lots of dust, lots of mess. And the drill, <sighs> which is going to take twice as long. But yeah, it's, um, it's a small job. But that doesn't mean it's an easy job. Small generally means awkward. Obviously the tap's got to be moved, which we'll probably be doing because it's in the way. We're going up to damp. We're aiming for it up to damp today. Assuming we get all the gear in time. Um, that's our line. You see that line's through with the existing. And it looks like it should be just half a brick. Straight off there. So that's our outside face, and then it's going to be cavity wall. I think we're going to do a 75mm cavity. There's going to be a door in it, a small window, and it's going to be a utility shower toilet kind of thing. It's going to have a suspended floor, so raise this all up to that, which means um, no slab for us, which is good. Fence is coming out, and it's going to come back and return into this. Tied in there in there. Right, bricks have arrived, camera's low on battery, <laughs> good start, so I'm going to find the bag, put a fresh battery in and we'll get, get these bricks out. Wow. 
last one I'll uh, pick the police. Yeah. There you go. There's the bricks. Is there any more? So, t top stack is for round back, and if you just heard us talking, then bottom stack is for front. Now, uh, <laughs> we need to get these loaded out soon because we've not really got a lot of space. Right, after a short break, which is what well, we should be having short breaks, brick store have arrived, and as you've seen, the, we've got the Ibstock Tradesman Heathers for the back. And red rustic 73mm for the front, both brick of 73mm. So I've set the laser up, lined it up with DPC. As you can see, you should be able to make that out on the camera. Measured down 875 that side, 875 this side. So Jason, nice one, Jason, who did all the digging and concreting. It's millimetre perfect. So there's our DPC on this wall, which obviously is way out of its white paint there as well. So it's nowhere near coursing in, so this is getting screwed hard anyway. It works out 110 off that, so that our brick sits straight against that and it'll be tied in. So 875 minus 450, which is two course of trench block, leaves us with 425. 425 works out at five courses of face brick, not four. I should say five. Bit rusty on my 73mm. Five. We set 73mm brick to... Um, 85 mil per course, so 0.85 times 5 equals 425. So it's actually gauge 425. So forget the big beds. I told you I was out of, out of um, practice. So four, so 875, so two course of trench, five course of face brick, which is 425, works bang on. But um, that's um, 73 mil. Obviously, your block work isn't imperial, so. It's 425, which is 25 mil off. Gauge, which is 450. Two block is 450. So two block is 450, and we've got 425. So that means we need to cut off um, 25 to 30 mil off the bottom of the block at the back. It's only six blocks, so that's nothing. That'll soon rattle through then. So this so basically it's just six six blocks to cut, which is good. Everything else works gauge. Now um, we need to get this pipe moved so we can start cutting and toothing. So I need to go off and get the stuff for that. I need to get our um, pipe cutter, and yeah, that's it. So we'll be running a vertical cut all the way up the back of that skin. And that way, that's the halves are cut off then, and then we'll be doing the toothing, which is going to be difficult because this mortar is rock hard. But yeah, that's the plan. And hopefully, get this up to damp course today. I'll get you set up, and we'll get loading. There we go, simple, don't overthink it. I did. Hang on. He's back. Yeah, I'm back. <sighs> Someone commented yesterday, a uh, bit of a sarky comment, but you're quite right. Um, doesn't matter what job we do, there's always a drama. We don't pick the dramas, but the dramas pick us. Hey, it makes for good views, doesn't it? Well, yeah, people, watch, people uh, like dramas, yeah. yeah. So anyway, I'd been home to get um, my pipe cutter, which I don't need because I've got this. It's a compression blank. So we don't need to cut the pipe, we just need to take the... Um, you point at that bottom T, Alex. So we need to take that pipe off the bottom of that T. Oh, 
to the junction there. Oh, this one. So what you're pointing there, that nut needs to come off, the bottom one. So we take that out, take the pipe out, and replace that nut with that, which has a rubber washer in it, and that blanks that off. Which means that we still have the supply to the other end, which is a washing machine fitting, so we can use that as the tap. And we can get rid of this pipe out of our way, because we can't do that until this is gone, which we thought was going to be gone. So, straightforward enough, nut off, washer on. So let me just take you to the front. First of all, I've been all over the house looking for a stop cock. Oh. There's the supply, I'm guessing it's lead. Doesn't look like it's been changed to Alcathene anywhere. There's no sign in any cupboard anywhere under the stairs in the hall in the kitchen of a stop cock. So there's no way, there's a hole in there, but I can't see anything behind it. So um, we're out at the front. Alex? Yeah? Follow me. So last resort, you always go to the front, to the stopcock in the pavement. Now on modern houses, this is your water meter out here. Well, it is sometimes anyway. So, little, little door up, torch, you know shine that torch down there, Al. And there's supposed to be a tap down there to switch these water off. What can you see? Yeah, soil. There you go. So we've got to start digging to find the um, the stopcock. So carry on. I can't reach. You have nice long arms. <laughs> I've got a bit out, but I can't reach anymore. So there's the first bit that came out. Look, it's all roots. Oh, is that all you got out? Yeah. It's only sand. So this little Pringles can size bloody hole. Yeah. He won't get his uh, his biceps down there. Oh yeah, I've made work <laughs> down, buddy. Right. Squeezes it, there you go, you can see it. See it nicely there now. Sort of off to the to, towards my foot. Which is there. Yeah. So he's turned as much as he can, so let's go and try the water. Could be next doors, <laughs> you never know. I think it would have shot a stop by now. No. You're going that way, aren't you? Hmm? You're going that way. Yeah. The modern ones have a plastic top with a lot bit more room to mess about with. That's definitely the only, only one, isn't it? Yeah. Try again. Nah, that is not diminishing in the slightest. No. We're gonna have to try yeah, something yeah. mission failed. <sighs> let's turn something off, but it didn't turn that off. So let's go and have a look. There is a hole in, under the cupboard. So let's go and see what's in the hole. Bring the cushion, pal, please. So it makes sense for something to be the other side of that hole, so that's where the water's coming up outside, so hopefully, yeah. You know, so it's just one beam it is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I can see it. I can see it from here. Oh, that's great, I can't get to it. I know. You need your right arm in, don't you? Same again, clockwise. Is it moving? <clears throat> Tell you what, it's a good job Alex isn't on all day because I, I wouldn't be able to do that. That's not happening, I wouldn't get up again. Here you go. Yeah, right, moment of truth. The water's, still the water's just running out the pipes above. And all you do is you leave the tap running so it'll run out of there before it gets to there. Right, let's get outside and take that thing off. Oh. 
Hang on, get, get hold of the camera. You've got to make sure that the, uh, see that bit? The nut sits into the teeth, like that. Oh, I see. That's probably a bit small. There you go. Shite. Tough, isn't it? Yeah. I thought you weren't trying then. That's it. So that. She would just be in the scrapyard. <laughs> yeah. Extra quid. Okay. Now we can live with a bit of water. Let's get that flat first. Got to make sure the washer's flat inside. It sits into a little lip. So that, you don't need PTFE because it's going to seal against that rubber washer. Even hand tight, I'd probably work on that because because it's a rubber washer. Yeah. Nice. So, don't let a, don't let a bit of pipe stop your job. Just use a bit of common sense. Now let's put the water back on and see what happens. And by that, we mean the yeah. Now let's tight that now. Back in business. Let's check for leaks. Dry glove. Still a dry glove. Perfect. And then we should have. There you go. So we'll just stick the connectors to the hose clock connection and we're cooking with gas or mixing with water. Back on track. Yeah, we might as well have a bit of lunch now because there's still no sign of the materials yet. Yeah, it's about 25 degrees. This is the Monday of the first day of the heat wave week in September. So um, the wet bricks are almost dry already. Yeah, so we're back we're back on, back into it now, so I can start making a mess. Start grinding. And Alex can carry on with the bricks and hopefully all the rest of our stuff will be arriving shortly. Let's get this on charge. Right, look at that. I don't know what this temperature is. Let's have a look. It must be hot because look at how dry some of these bricks are now. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this, this is the wet pile. <laughs> not anymore, it's not. They're bone dry then. So. Happy days. Uh, it's 25 degrees. Yeah. Feels off though, doesn't it? We're not used to this. No. So we've had a crap July and August. And and September. A beautiful September so far. So yeah, um, our materials are late, which is not like Fairwoods. But um, I'm sure there's a good reason for it. It's supposed to be a mid-morning. It's just after one o'clock after our dinner. So Alex is going to go to the toilet while he's do doing that. I'm going to get on this and start making a mess. You know when you've been sweating all day, so you're covered in sweat, and then you start grinding, and it all sticks to you. And then just get rid of this. That's causing us all the problems. That thing, this is now gone. The whole system's gone. So we'll, we'll get a few of these done, and then we'll get back to you after.
Thor, would you then? Uh, 20 to 2, I think. Get a mix on before you get any more brick in. We're going to at least get the trench back in and get the corner up so we can get the profile on tomorrow. Yeah. So, gear's arrived. He's made a lovely job of fitting it all in. Ton of sand. I didn't realise we had that sand already, but so there's our sand. Two lintels for crossing over the gap. Fiber lights. The um, cement was in the bag, which we've moved inside in case it rains. It's not raining for a week. And then there's our trench block for our two course trench and a little shrink wrap parcel of bluebirds and cavity ties. Look at them. They're the thick ones. Good as them. All shrink wrapped. There's the few first few spare fibre lights. The rest of the 300 mil trench block. So Alex's mission is to get a mix on and get them in and get them down in that trench today um, before we melt. This morning we're finishing at R4. We'll, we'll see, won't we? But, um, as soon as Alex comes back, water's ready. I can't get down there. This is Alex's job now. Um, gotta get all the crap out. I've got the two of us done up to there, so I've taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten two of us out, which will get us oh, um, 21 courses. Mortar is like three to one. It's ridiculous. So there's no um, no saws all getting used today. It is rock hard that. I can't believe that none of the bricks are broke. Must be a good batch of Londons and of course London brick set fog down. Which just makes it more difficult for um, filling the two of them up to fill that frog up. So we've probably got still got about another eight or nine to come out, but obviously as I'm as high as I can get. So once he's back we can get these trench blocks chucked in get it levelled up and get a couple of brick on this corner so we can get a profile on that fence is going to have to come out tomorrow so um, we'll leave it in for today and get as far as we can we'll catch you in a bit
go. Thank you, Alex. Four o'clock. Bl trench blocking. Lintels in over the drain. Another annoying hitch. I need to set this brickwork out. So I need this fence out of the way. This fence is screwed in. I need to get this corner set out so we can get profile on tomorrow. And this thing is out of plumb. It goes, it goes that way. And it goes that way. So we're going to be cutting the back off the bricks towards the top. Which is just, I don't know, it is what it is, but it's just frustrating. Had a rubbish day today. I have personally because I fell over. I've hurt myself. I'm really struggling now, I shouldn't even be in work. That pillar falls, that pillar is out of plumb that way and that way. Yeah? Yeah. Um, what do you need the battle for? Take the fence down. Fence has got to go. If I'd realised the, the shed was behind it, we could have done that first thing this morning. So let's get this thing out of the way.
that was a long day but it looked we've done something <laughs> so trench are in first two quarts of brick are in across the uh, across the trench and then we've got a little corner up for a profile and dad's got uh, what blocks we have put around there so we've made some progress at least at least when we and then when we come back tomorrow we're more set out so yeah we'll we'll catch you tomorrow then for the next part